we will discuss the stage wise management of the cervical cancer what happened in stage 1 tumor is confined to cervix and 5 year survival is 83% in 1a microscopic invasive carcinoma with a depth of invasion of less than 5 mm is there and 5 year survival is 83% and what happened in 1a1 in 1a1 there is stromal invasion of less than 3 mm in depth and uh, when the fertility is required in fertility sparing procedure we do cervical colonization with a close follow up and when family is complete we do th and pso this is cervical colonization which has been shown in the figure which uh, you can see in this video that uh, the cervical colonization procedure is being performed and this is what we do in 1a1 in case of fertility sparing however if the family is complete we can go for th and pso what we do in 1a2 in 1a2 there is stromal invasion of 3 mm or more but less than 5 mm okay so if we uh, if the fertility sparing is desired then cervical colonization uh, as i have shown in the previous small video okay uh, is done along with the laparoscopic pelvic lymphadenectomy now radical tracheotomy this is also for fertility sparing procedure i will show you video of that as well uh, along with the pelvic lymphadenectomy Okay, and when fertility is complete, modified radical hysterectomy with a five mm clear margin plus PSO plus lymph adenectomy is performed. Okay, now this is modified radical tracheotomy. You can see in the video that. the proper procedure is being performed now what we do in post uh, treatment follow up three monthly pap smear for two years and then six monthly for next three years if the normal follow up at five years and patient can return to routine screening in 1b invasive carcinoma with a depth of invasion of 5 mm or more is there in 1b1 invasive carcinoma 5 mm or more and less than 2 cm in fertility sparing procedure if the bulk uh, tumor bulk is less is less than 5 uh, mm then radical tracheotomy plus lymph node dissection is done but if family is complete radical hysterectomy with pelvic lymphadenectomy is done in 1b2 invasive carcinoma 2 cm or more uh, and less than 4 cm radical hysterectomy plus bs is done with the pelvic lymphadenectomy slash radiotherapy in 1b3 invasive carcinoma 4 cm or more and concurrent platinum based chemo radiation is done now what we do in stage 2 there is invasion beyond the uterus and 5 year survival is 65% in 2a upper 2/3 of the vagina with without parameter involvement is there in 2a1 invasive carcinoma of less than 4 cm in which we do radical hysterectomy plus pso with pelvic lymphadenectomy slash radiotherapy in 2a2 invasive carcinoma 4 cm or more concurrent platinum based chemo radiation is done in 2b plat uh, parameter involvement is there in stage 3 lower third of vagina or um, or it extends to the pelvic side wall or uh, causes hydronephrosis or non functioning kidney or involve pelvic and paraaortic lymph nodes in that we do concurrent platinum based chemo radiation five year survival is 36% now in case of the 3a lower third of vagina is involved in 3b extension to the pelvic side wall uh, and or hydronephrosis or non functioning kidney in 3c pelvic and paraaortic lymph nodes and wall in 3c1 pelvic lymph nodes metastasis only in 3c2 paraaortic metastasis only and in all of these cases concurrent platinum based chemo radiation is done okay in stage 4 the tumor extends beyond the true pelvis or bladder or rectal mucosa and 5 year survival is 10%. Okay, in 4 is spread to the adjacent pelvic uh, organ is there concurrent platinum based chemo radiation is done in 4b distant organs are involved in which we do concurrent platinum based uh, radiation. Okay, so that is the uh, short video about radiotherapy of the cervix. You can 
see a few steps. As you know, radiotherapy is done in a very proper technique. And thank you so much for your patience.